Greater Manchester Police Constable PC Thomas Woods, who we reported on on the 20th of August 2022, link in the description and at the end of the video, faced his misconduct hearing this week. Woods of Brookdale, New Longton, was given a suspended sentence in October last year despite being caught with more than 2,000 indecent images of children that he had collected over a 10 year period. These files included a video of a girl believed to have been just four years old being sexually abused. Between two mobile phones there were 2,567 indecent images, 678 of those were category A. Woods was only found out because his wife, also a police constable, looked through his phone believing him to be having an affair. When she confronted him about the images, Woods claimed that they were being used as bait to lure predators in as part of an online investigation. Checking with the Forces Sexual Crimes Unit, they confirmed that there was no such investigation. Woods' interest in children predated his joining the police, which may or may not prove that this type of cretin is drawn to the police for the ability to feel, and in most cases, be protected, whilst also having access to material that he wouldn't be able to get elsewhere. When he was sentenced, Woods was given a 16-month sentence, suspended for two years, and ordered to complete 180 hours of unpaid work and a 10.30 rehabilitation activity requirement date. He was also made sec uh, subject to a sexual harm prevention order for five years and will have to sign the sex offenders register for 10. Because it's proven time and time again that rehab for sexual predators really works. Wood's accelerated misconduct hearing was held on February the 14th where he answered allegations that his conduct amounted to a breach of the standards of professional behaviour for discreditable conduct contrary to the Police Conduct Regulations 2020. I think it's safe to assume the outcome of this hearing seeing as he was found guilty in court. Thomas Woods of Brookdale, New Longton in Preston was found to have breached the standards of professional behaviour in relation to being caught in possession of indecent images and Chief Constable Stephen Watson who oddly enough chaired the misconduct meeting although Mark Rowley of the Met seems to think he can't do the same decided the only outcome could be one of dismissal and sent Woods packing with his P45. Watson said it is a very powerful principle that officers should preserve public confidence and the seriousness of the misconduct found in terms of professional behaviour means he has been dismissed without notice. Woods has committed very serious criminal offences. His acts were deliberate, unforced and unlawful and also morally irreprehensible. He brings the profession into disrepute and damages the confidence the public, confidence the public has in the police officers. We have to maintain public confidence and this will of course diminish that due to the level of seriousness. Woods' conduct could not be further removed from what a police officer should be. He is a sexual offender and completely forfeited the trust of the public. He will stand per perpetually unforgiven by officers and staff whose acts of decency will be tainted. So, another pedo cop exposed for what they are and thankfully dealt with, although I don't believe a suspended sentence is anywhere near the kind of punishment that a person in possession of such material should receive. But it does give me great pleasure to say... Another one bites the dust.